papers have been officially submitted. Alrighty, thanks. Now, now there's, there's no, no running, running away. away. <laughs> Make sure you look through the pamphlet. That's why she said... Trouble Busters! Ma'am, this is the pamphlet for Trouble City. Make sure you look through it at least once, okay? Come on, let's get going. What? <laughs> oh, hey, it's me, dear. <laughs> We're officially husband and wife now. Yeah, Melanie. Uh-huh. Yeah, she turned in the papers. <laughs> Yeah, we're celebrating today. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Wait one second. What is it? What exactly am I to you guys? I've been looking at you like an easy target from the get-go. He was so happy. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm so glad I don't have to act decent anymore. <laughs> Seriously, we gotta get what we worked for, though. I want you to clean up the whole house as soon as we get there. Uh, from the get-go? Yeah. You were just trying to capture me? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, answer her, Melanie. <laughs> Miss Melanie is so shocked she can't say anything. I'm so happy. <laughs> Welcome, Melanie, to our family. It wasn't a bad dream. It was real. My life completely changed after I turned in my marriage papers. <sighs> What are you doing? There's so much trash in the corners. I'm totally fine, because I'm not tired at all. Ugh. What does that look? You got a complaint? If you don't want to be here, you can leave, but you're going to be alone for the rest of your life. I don't want that. I don't want to be alone anymore. A room with no one. No one to welcome me home. Doing everything alone. Everywhere I go, alone. I just wanted a family. I got married because I wanted a family. Yeah, you're having a great time right now, right? Then don't look so unhappy, damn it! But I'd love to use a vacuum. Electricity. And time. It's too late to be using a vacuum. Sorry. My dear is calling for you, so go answer him. Oh, hey, Miss Melanie. Uh, money. Okay, thanks. Oh yeah, Blue Finance wants their money back tomorrow, so, uh, thanks. Um, about your debt. I can't return the original money because it's too much interest. Then I guess you gotta pay the interest and worry about the rest later. Excuse me? Make sure you pay off the loan, though. I just told you that it's too expensive. I can't really do it with my regular pay. Then how about you go work part-time? There's plenty of ways to pay it off. Use your head. I don't have time to work part-time. I'm living with you, Carl's wife, because you make more than he does. Don't make me angry. Yes. Sir. <sighs> of course I love you, Sophie. What? Yo, finish up your crap? Yes. Oh, nothing. Uh, just talking to someone over here. Yeah, I'm a good guy, you know. Okay, I'll clean up my room then. Don't run away. Who was that? You clean up right away and sleep somewhere that is not here. Why are you... Um, are you having an affair? I work hard around the house and financially... This is too mean. What's so mean? I'm your wife. Huh? The second you turned in those papers, I stopped looking at you as a woman. So what am I to you? You know, I do love you. If that's true, then isn't it weird that you'd be interested in another woman? I can't look at you as a woman. I'm still very much a man. I can't be sitting here not getting laid. My life is so much worse. If you go against me, we're getting a divorce. And I'm gonna take you to court no matter what happens. You probably won't be able to get remarried after that. If that's not enough to chase you away, then go ahead. Living alone for the rest of your life, <laughs> my life won't be phased. You get it? Now clean up. Ah, uh, I'm gonna get to burn off some steam for the first time in a while. I'm so done with this. Wh what's going on? I'm over it. I liked how kind you were. When you heard what happened to me, you cried for me. I thought that you were the one, that I wasn't alone anymore. You aren't alone. That was my mistake. There was no family in this house. I'd rather be alone for sure. I finally had a family. Well, calm down, Melanie. Wait, hang on. I couldn't handle anything anymore. I hated it all. What was family? That house only had people that wanted to hurt me. I, I can't do this anymore. I, I can't. I don't know how many times I said that out loud. Before I knew it, I was sound asleep, but when I woke up, it was already past lunch. They're gonna charge me extra for staying late. 
But I wasn't going to go back to the house yet. When I saw a pamphlet that the city office handed me in the beginning, I started looking through it without much thought. What is this? Please make sure to look through this. That's why she said. She knew exactly what could happen and how I could fight back. I'm never going to forgive them. Trouble busters. Damn it, Melanie. Where the hell have you been? The house is full of dust and trash. Clean it up right away. Money! If you go against us, you're going to be kicked out. You want to be in alone in the world again? If it's between that and being with people like you, I'd rather be alone. Wh what You want to get a divorce? Of course not. I can't get a divorce. Uh, right. I said so. You're just a caged bird. You can't fly into the big blue. Now get to cleaning. What are you three mistaking? Mistaken? In other words, look at this. Th that's the marriage papers. What's going on? I thought you submitted them. We did, but why do you... Ah! It wasn't accepted by the city office, and it never will be. Why, why, why? Pretty simple why it wasn't accepted. You heard what was happening between me and my fiancé, so you thought it best. Really, I wanted to tell you right away, but I figured the two would notice and then force you to submit it, so I just stuck it into the pamphlet and told you to look through it. This isn't right. What? This isn't correct. Yeah, the office worker can't just make a judgment and not take the papers. Call the office, now! And say what, that the papers that I signed are all torn up? Then you just need to sign them again. Why the hell would I do that? Are you insane? If you don't, we're gonna call the office and have her fired. Fired? Yeah. You don't want to bring suffering to someone's life because of you. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Why would she be fired? Because she didn't take the papers because she thought so. Uh, I can just say that the papers weren't completed, so I had them returned to me. Then she's fine. That's a lie. Yes, it is. And? That's against the rules. Against the rules? You mean illegal? Yeah, but you don't have any proof that it is a lie and illegal. How are you going to find that? Ugh. Besides, you really think that the courts will handle this course? I don't agree. I don't agree! I'm gonna do it! You can't. You're not going to be able to do anything because you're going to be paying for damages. <laughs> what? Damages? Yeah, you're having an affair. What? What are you talking about? Carl isn't having an affair. You need to stop saying random things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, what the hell is this? <laughs> I hired someone to get me proof. This is really him. But you've already cancelled your papers with him. That means he's single. And it's not cheating. It's just romance. <sighs> Dad is acting smart for once. Amazing, honey. I'm sorry, but that's not going to fly in courts. What? We didn't put in the papers, but we were engaged. Having an affair while engaged is totally enough to take to the courts. Shut the hell up. You guys already broke it off, though. What? I don't think so. I love him so much. You little... Yeah, I don't want to hear anything from the guy who was having an affair. <laughs> Next you, Mr. Christopher. I have a message from Mr. Andrew in Blue Finance. I'm the CEO at Blue Finance. I'm his right-hand man. I'm his left-hand man. Oh, what the hell is this? If you're listening to my voice right now, it means that you're being trouble-busted by Melanie at the moment. The money that she's been paying for you, well, I haven't actually accepted it all. What? You were the one that took out the money, not her. I'm not going to accept money from her, so I'm not going to accept any of the money that she was paying. You've got 50% interest racked up now. N no way! <laughs> you have no idea how much debt you got. Make sure you cry when you beg. Just bring the money. Even if you jump the original loan and pay interest, it's still 12.5k. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Good luck returning the money, my sweet Christopher. I'm lending you my important money. That's all Blue Finance has for you. Bye. Bye! Ah, why didn't you tell me, Melanie? Mr. Andrew said that I was answering, but you weren't. He's been trying to reach you, so it's your fault for not answering. He just told me to just sit tight. But, but... And finally, Miss Sarah. What? Wasn't able to find anything particular against you. Whew. But all of the mums in the city were more than happy to hear about all the wrongdoings in this house, especially Miss Sophia. What? She was so excited to hear about the news. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Melanie. Congratulations, you're the best gossiper around. I could hear yelling from her house often. I'm going to spread this rumor about the moral harassment thing all over real fast. Then justice will be done. By the way, Theo and Mary over at the bar will hear about this too. Ah, the bar is there to spread rumors. 
perfect play. <laughs> you don't need to thank me, Miss Melanie. I'm doing it for my own good. Thanks for your testimonial. Time to go spread some news. See you. Just between me and you, Sarah. So yeah. Ah! Please, Melanie, don't sue me. She was just some fun. I think you've got it wrong. I was just the fun. No, you're the only one that I love. Oh yeah, you love the maid, right? I'm not gonna forgive any of you. I'm going to take as much revenge out on you as I can. Revenge is a dish best served cold. <laughs> no, seriously, this is... It's your fault for educating me like this. What? What did you say? It's gotta be it. Your stupid, twisted personality affected me, and now I'm mean to Melanie. Don't be such an idiot. You're a grown-ass man, completely. You wanted some kind of wife that just listened to what her husband said. Lifelines are important. I wanted to play till I was old. I needed someone to make sure to look after me. You guys are definitely gonna be gone before my wife. So I was just chosen as a caretaker. I'm the ace in the hole. Guess you lost your race. Wait, hang on. If you listen to my story, you should understand that it was their fault. Yeah, I'm not going to lip. Just think about it. The gambler father and the hated mother. I'm the son that was born between them. People make a mistake because of their environment at home. These two are first and second in the worst people tournament. I, I don't have common sense. They didn't teach me. Are you seriously the densest moron? You're a grown-ass man. Are you seriously going to blame your parents now? Seriously, how long are you going to use us? Don't act like you're even worth being used. You've got nothing of any value. Please, give me a chance, Melanie. I'll leave the horrible parents. Let's elope together. Let's leave this household and go be happy together. Come on. What do you mean, be happy? You're the biggest reason I'm unhappy. Well, that's... This house, I want to leave you too. I don't have anything I want in this house. You understand? Miss Melanie, you should probably go talk to Miss Sophia, huh? She's loving every second she can talk about this to people. She said she was going to get her moped for the first time in a while. Get out of the way! Sophia the rumor spreader is coming through! <laughs> moped She's 31 years old. She's a 31-year-old bike rider with a purpose. <laughs> There's nothing around. There's no one around. What a great time. So yeah, goodbye, Mr. Christopher. Mr. Andrew is quite angry, so you should go apologize to him. You really gotta return the money you got from them. The legit workers knew all about it, too. <laughs> I'm going to go explain and apologize right now. Why are you telling me what you're going to do? Whatever. You'll be getting the papers from my lawyer soon, so get the money ready. Y you won't forgive me even though I'm apologizing this much? There are some things that aren't forgivable. There's no love there anymore. Please don't try to negotiate. <laughs> what have I done? Miss, Miss Melanie, Melanie, please, please forgive, forgive us. us. Of course I wasn't going to forgive them. I did exactly as I said I would. Carl owed me $30,000. The woman he had an affair with didn't know he was married, so I let her off the hook. Christopher was taken by Mr. Andrew to work in a factory in the mountains. Miss Sophia has been getting cold looks everywhere. All three got what they deserved. I decided to start working to really find myself again. My life was pretty horrible for a while, but I hope I'm going to find someone that's decent again. Trouble Busters. 